Hi everyone, Roman Jenkins here, and what you just heard were the opening lines to Tom Waits' 2011 effort, Bad As Me. The song was, of course, Chicago. Uh, I've been a big Tom Waits fan for a long time, and I feel like he doesn't get a lot of uh, respect despite his introduction to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame last year. And this week I'm going to do a bit of retrospective on his career, uh, but mostly through music. It's a little bit different for a Let's Learn. But let's start off with an early song. You might know this better as an, a song the Eagles covered, and it's Old 55. I went so quickly, I went naked as splickly, out to my old 55. As I pulled away slowly, feeling so holy, God knows I was feeling alive. Of course, Waits has been covered many times, including maybe his most famous song in terms of covers, which is Downtown Train. It was covered by Rod Stewart a few years after it was released on Rain Dogs in 1985. Uh, here's Tom Waits' version, of course. Bless you tonight. There are a lot of Tom Waits covers out there. Uh, if I were to do a uh, Let's Learn about just Tom Waits covers, I would have to cover two albums, one by Scarlett Johansson and one by uh, Barrel House singer John Hammond, Wicked Grin, which was actually really good. Uh, but let's stick with Rain Dogs for a little while, and let's do the title track, uh, which is actually a fantastic song. For rum, for strong and thin, beat out the dust man with the rain dogs aboard a shipwreck train give my umbrella to the rain dogs for I am a rain dog too so a couple things to note about that track one is the guitar playing by Mark Rabot, who worked for, with Tom Waits for the first time on this album, and has pretty much been on every album since then. And the second is that the Rain Dog uh, moniker is what's been assigned to the fans of Tom Waits, people who will travel hundreds, if not thousands, of miles to see one of his very rare shows. Uh, actually, that's a great place to start if you want to start getting into Tom Waits songs on uh, YouTube. Search Rain Dogs. Uh, but what was really interesting about this song is that it appears on his 1988 concert tour, Big Time, and it, which is also famous for hosting one of his better-known tracks, Falling Down, which has only ever been recorded by Tom Waits on tour. It's never been a studio effort. So here's... Someone else, Timber, take off your head. So Tom Waits classifies his songs in three ways, and it was done on the Orphans box set he released uh, in 2008. It's Ballers, Brawlers, and Bastards. Uh, ballers are sad songs like George Lee off of uh, Mule Variations, and Brawlers are songs like Chicago that opened up this Let's Learn. Uh, but Bastards are a different thing. Those are his story songs, uh, or just straight up spoken word songs. Uh, so let's take a listen to uh, Shore Leaf. And I left all my papers on the Ticonderoga. And I was in bad need of a shave. I slopped at the corner on cold chow mein and shot billiards with a midget until the rain stopped. And I bought a long sleeve. So while I'm a big fan of the brawler section of Waits' discography, I'm going to actually put together a few of the brawlers in quick succession here. 
uh, just so you get an idea of what those sound like. And they range from his early days where he had a much clearer voice to stuff from, you know, just this year where he uh, has obviously lost that ability to be clear. Every time I hear that melody something breaks inside She was 15 years old And she'd never seen the ocean She climbed into a van With a vagabond So what you just heard is a collection of songs from his entire career. Tom Waits uh, started in the 70s and still is going strong today. Uh, you heard Grapefruit Moon off of his first album. You heard A Little Rain off of his first album of the 90s, Bone Machine. And then you heard the, uh, the song New Year's Eve off of his latest album, Bad As Me. Uh, he's had a long, varied career. And it's really been great for fans who like to trade around different concert DVDs or CDs or tapings, uh, bootleg albums, uh, pretty much anything you can think of, people will trade around because he's such a, a big underground figure. Uh, Bob Dylan calls him one of his secret heroes. Uh, Jesse Dylan, Bob Dylan's son, actually does a lot of videos and uh, photographs with him, uh, which has always been interesting, such as the God's Way on Business uh, uh, video which I'm gonna play a bit of the song again. So that song was one of the many songs that came off soundtracks he's done for uh, theater productions. Uh, albums like Alice and The Black Rider, along with that's, uh, that song's album, Blood Money. Uh, all came from soundtracks he did for different uh, directors and theater producers. He also had an album he did for Francis Ford Coppola's uh, One from the Heart, which uh, almost won him a Grammy. Until he, he wouldn't have a Grammy until the 90s, where he won one for Bone Machine and, again, won one for uh, Mule Variations, which I haven't put any clips of on this. Uh, so I wanted to close with possibly the weirdest song uh, he actually has produced ever, maybe. Uh, which is Hell Broke Loose off his latest album. And if this doesn't make you want to go get a Tom Waits album, I don't know what will. Big fucking ditches in the middle of the road. You pay a hundred dollars just for filling in the hole. Listen to the general every goddamn word. How many ways can you polish up a turd and left, right, left, left, right, left, right, hell. So thanks everyone for sitting through this Let's Learn. Uh, I might do more like this in the future if people seem to like these. Uh, I have a number of artists that don't get enough attention, I don't think, uh, that I listen to a lot, who uh, really put out something new and different every time they uh, produce an album. So I hope to see everyone later. Bye.